And welcome back to the Ontario Soccer Center here in Vaughan, Ontario for our second match on this beautiful Sunday as we'll be here with the Girls Under 14 OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield. Home of Ontario Soccer and the Ontario Player Development League. In today's Under 14 Girls Division OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield match, please put your hands together for the away team dressed in black, the Markham Soccer Club. Our home team, dressed in white and blue, please welcome the Mar Ottawa South United. Almost. Okay. And now, introducing our match officials who were appointed for today's OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield match. The referee, Miss Angelina Baldino. Assistant referee, Michaela McBride. Assistant Referee Lara Yassin, and fourth official Julia Friesen. And now our starting lineups for today's OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield match, beginning with our away team, the Markham Soccer Club. Wearing number three, Heike Clark. Wearing number four, Ella Caldwell. Wearing number seven, Kennedy Belfon. Wearing number eight, Brianna Gaynor. Wearing number nine, Naomi Phillips. Wearing number 10, Alessandra Geranio. Wearing number 12, Kayla Gaynor. Wearing number 15, Ainsley Parker. Wearing number 17, Jada Skoberg. Wearing number 28, Naya Mitra. Wearing number 42, Gabby Ramdeen. Team head coach, Laura Goss. Team head coach, Richard Alexander. Assistant, Sarah Alexander. And assistant, Sina Azimi. And now our lineup for today's home team, Ottawa South United. Wearing number one, Kate Tom. Wearing number three, Ila Dupuis. Wearing number seven, Brooklyn Menard. Wearing number 10, Zoe McLaughlin. Wearing number 13, Bianca Hanish. Wearing number 17, Isabel Chukwu. Wearing number 18, Annabelle Chukwu. Wearing number 22, Sienna Caruso. Wearing number 28, Grace O'Grady. Wearing number 34, Kayla Dittiero. Wearing number 87, Catherine Ozard. Assistant coach, Abraham Osman. Head coach, David Fox. Manager, Jennifer Ozard. Manager, Jim Lianos. Technical director, Paul Harris. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome special guests with us today, Joey Lombardi, Ontario REX and Women's U20 director and Brian Rosenfeld, Ontario Soccer Director of Soccer Operations. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to recognize, recognize this year's under 15, under 14 girls, sorry, division OPDL league champions, Ottawa South United and Hamilton United Elite. I'd like to call upon the team captain from Ottawa South United and Hamilton United to accept the OPDL league champions plate and league champions banner on behalf of the teams and clubs. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for your 2021 OPDL League Champions. Let me know when you're ready. And 
And now, if you are able, we'd ask that you please rise for the playing of our national anthem. And what has been a thrilling weekend for both Markham Soccer Club and Ottawa South United. These two clubs go toe-to-toe -to -toe here once again for this girls under 14 OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield here at the Ontario Soccer Center in Vaughan, Ontario. I see here is the opening coin toss and final instructions from our referees, Angelina Baldino, Michaela McBride, Larry Cena, and the fourth official is Julia Friesen. We get ready to get underway for four 20-minute quarters for a total of 80 minutes here on the field. The game does remain tied after those 80 minutes. We go straight towards kicks from the penalty mark, which we have seen so far this weekend with both this Ottawa South United Club and Markham. So they'll be trying to see if they can avoid that here on this match as it will be in the white and blue Ottawa South United and in the all blacks will be Markham Soccer Club. My name is Martin Holmes. I'll be giving you the play-by-play -play about these two OPDL teams that were facing off in the same OPDL division. This Ottawa South United squad came comes in with a record of 14 wins with just a single loss on the season. They defeated Oakville 3-1 to to get here towards this Charity Shield match going against Fellow division rival Markham Soccer Club. Their 13 wins and two losses. Their losses going against Ottawa South United. And they defeated Hamilton United 2 to nothing in their semifinal to get here towards this Charity Shield final. As you see, the teams get ready for their final warm-ups before getting on towards the pitch. Launched in 2014 with the 2001 age group, the Ontario Player Development League is Ontario's first and Canada's foremost standards-based youth high-performance league that combines top-level competition with comprehensive high-performance training standards. This innovative and exciting youth high-performance program is an important standard bearer of the adoption of the long-term player development principles across soccer at large in Ontario and Canada. The OPDL encompasses the U13 to the U17 age categories for both males and females, which are delivered by 30 committed life. Annabelle Chukwu, which got them the victory in that one. And the Ottawa South United team will be in the white and blue, as we mentioned. They'll be going from your left to your right on your screens at home, starting out this first half. And in the All Blacks, going from your right to your left, will be Markham Soccer Club as we get ready to start this first quarter here at the Ontario Soccer Center with a great crowd here on hand in our second of three games here at the OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield matches. And we're underway with the girls under 14 OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield with an early boot into the corner. And this one's going to be an easy roll out here for a goal kick as Toronto FC is the official founding premier partner of Ontario Soccer as well as the presenting partner for the Ontario Player Development League, the province's youth high performance league. Their commitment to the game in Ontario is unrivaled. Visit torontofc.com for tickets and more. Saw a lot of these faces on this Ottawa South United team playing yesterday's final, played in the one-year up age group. 
And we'll have to see if they can get themselves a charity shield victory as they're going to send an early through ball in. And Annabelle Chaku is going to run onto this one. She's the leading goal scorer in the OPDL in this age group. Uh, she picked up 35 goals this season. Definitely a player to keep an eye out for. Uh, and look at Markham. The top scores are Platz, Gaynor, and Skoberg. Those are the three players to keep an eye out for on that Markham side. Those three-pronged attack. And they put a little bit of pressure here. does Markham onto the Ottawa defense. And they're forced to return this one all the way to the goalkeeper, Tom, who is going to reset it back towards their defense. Trying to play that ball up towards Annabelle Chuck, who can't get it towards her. And Markham midfield will look to try to settle the play down as they want to throw in at midfield. Long ball trying to get this one up. The field is going to hit it off the head of Belfin. She's not able to control that one. But Markham will get the, self, the throw. It's usually in these first opening minutes, you'll start to see the players start to get used towards the field. A little bit of trying to get used to the turf. You know, playing inside is also an important factor. Most of them been playing on the outdoor for the last few months. And got a feel for one another on the field. As we definitely will be ready to see an exciting tilt between these squads. As Ottawa is going to play that ball short and hit that long ball up the field. Getting to that first will be Ramdeen. And she's going to put that one back in towards pressure. Balfon. She's going to come through on the left side. That's a hard shot. But her shot will go over the goal. Good early pressure coming in from Kennedy Belfon who has got the recipient of the turnover and some good pressure coming in from Geranio. Was able to win the ball for Markham and she set in Belfon onto a good attack and she just missed that top corner. But a good early chance there for the Markham team as they're looking to try and see if they can get themselves the early goal in this one. two teams will be playing for specific charities as well. The Markham Soccer Club will be playing for the Sick Kids Foundation as the Ottawa South United team will be playing for the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario Foundation. That's always an added element, to, of course, towards this game as well. As this one's going to get thrown into the corner. And there was no pressure on the Ottawa South United player in that far corner, but didn't didn't look like she knew that. And it deflected off of her, and it's going to be an early corner kick here from Markham. And they're going to be bringing in two players for the short. And the referee's probably just going to have to make sure they get enough space. This one went towards the near post, cleared away first time, and Markham will get themselves a second opportunity. Interestingly, only four players in the box here from Markham. As they put a lot of pressure towards that near post. And that one will go towards the far post, however. And that's going to hit over the heads of all the players. And the Ottawa defender is able to hit it off of the Markham player. No, she did not actually said the referee. Ottawa saying it was their throw, but Markham will get the throw instead. And they're going to throw this one down the line. Can't find any of their players, and it's finally going to be settled in towards the back line. As they're trying to force a turnover, Geronio able to get in the way once again, and there's a shot coming in from a distance as that one's going to come in from Caldwell, rolling right towards Tom. Markham doing a good job putting pressure onto this Ottawa South United defense as they try to get out of their own half. Phillips down towards Belfon. Belfon trying to break free on the left side. She gets through the one player. She gets through the second. There's a cross. That ball is still loose, but it is going to be found by Ozard. She finds that ball under her foot, and she's able to clear it away. But good early start again coming in from this Markham team in this opening five minutes in this one. The throw is going to go right towards the foot of Belfon. She's going to be looking for some support as she tried to split between the two defenders. But they will be able to get that throw right back. Maybe Kayla Gaynor looking to throw this one in. It's going to be taken away, but Gaynor's going to put this one right back towards the middle of the field, and Skoberg try to get it up on. But it gets cleared away, and that's going to send an Isabel Chaku on a break. She's all on her own. Isabel Chaku finally gets shut down. 
good defending coming over from Ainsley Parker. She was able to hustle to catch up towards Chuck Wu, and she forced her to slow down that run and try to cut back in, and her shot will go wide. Good recovery there from the Markham defense as Isabel Chukwu almost had a free reign on towards goal. Quick end-to-end -end here. As you saw, the first couple minutes was just the get-to-know-each-other stage. They haven't played against each other since early August. And now the tempo has increased as Ottawa South United will get themselves to throw in in towards the corner. Good job there from Gaynor. Able to clear it away. And I'll get hit up the field towards O'Grady who's going to punk that one back in. And Balfon just has that one bounce off of her foot. Ottawa will get themselves to throw and they'll take this one in quickly. The Tierro not seeing any options going forward. is going to force to go all the way back and she'll hit towards Ozard who's going to switch it towards the far side of the field. Hanish. Great central midfielder. We saw her play yesterday. Strong midfield presence. We'll be looking towards her to create opportunities. Trying to dance around with that ball as that one is hit hard towards Annabelle Chuck. She can't control that. As Markham will pick up this ball and towards the midfield. Good pressure from Isabel Chaku, but still going to get to it is Caldwell. And she's going to boot this one down the line for Belfon to chase. And it will be cleared aside for her throwing deep into OSU territory. Markham here trying to figure out who's going to take this throw in. This one will get thrown in easily controlled by the OSU team and they'll be able to hit this one up the field as far as Ramdeen who puts it right back towards the midfield towards Geronio. She tries to play that one between the two midfielders. It's going to get picked up by Anna. She's, she's going to send this one down the line for Isabel Chukwu to chase. Ramdeen is there, and it's an opportunity there. Could play that one back towards the goalie, but instead just taking the safe option, clearing it out. And Ottawa will throw this one in quickly. The Tierro, she gets that one poked away from her. Uh, it still continues here is Caruso. Caruso, the Tierro, Hanish. Hanish gets knocked off, but she continues her run. And the referee will wave advantage here as the play goes out towards the left side as they try to put it back towards the Tierro. And she'll slow it back down towards her defense. We'll try to send a cross in. And there's a sneaky run coming in behind the play. McLaughlin, she tries to center it. Takes the save, rebound, blocked. Third chance, no. And another one from distance. And a beautiful punch over from Mitra. A great opportunity there coming in from Ottawa South United as Hannes tried to go for from range. And Mitra did well to punch that one over. After that original chance from McLaughlin, got Mitra to make the initial save. The second opportunity on the far post got stopped from Minar. And then the third chance from Hannes, beautiful save once again. Ottawa starting to get themselves alive in this one as Markham had those early chances, but Ottawa's giving it right back right now. McLaughlin. Back for Caruso, and Caruso gets the first cross blocked, and their second one will go straight towards Markham, as Markham, though, can't clear it away as Minar hits that one high in the air. She's going to leave this one back towards her midfield as it falls its way towards Hanish. Chukwu. Finally gets it knocked up by Gaynor. And McLaughlin will have that ball right fall right back towards her foot. And she's trying to drive through on that right side. But she'll put it back towards the midfield. McLaughlin, nice eyes there. She recognizes the switch. But a little miscommunication between two of the players and Dupuy and Minar there. As both of them try to be on the other end of that pass. And it'll deflect off of them and out for a goal kick.
Big boot up, up the field. It's going to go through all the Markham players, but they will be able to get that one in the midfield. That's where Caldwell is just going to hit that one high, and it's going to be too far for a teammate there on the far side to gain or to be able to get to. The Tierro down towards the near side. Finds Caruso. McLaughlin. Annabelle Chakwu. Good physical presence. Great on the ball as well. So she'll be, of course, that player to keep an eye out for. Markham defense has to make sure they don't lose her on the field. Comes a through ball from DiTiero. This can be too far, though, for Chakwu to be able to reach towards. And that's going to go out for another goal kick here. After a pretty easy going five minutes here, these last six have really taken another tempo here as both these teams are fighting for that all-important first goal. Good pressure from Ottawa. Beginner will get that ball to bounce right back towards her, and she'll kick this one up the field, and Ozard will hit this one back towards her keeper, Tom, as they look to reset. Ball gets switched towards the near side, and here's Minar. Minar shakes away the midfield, and she'll play back towards her defense again. And that's an added benefit, just knowing if you have a goalie who's comfortable with the ball on her feet, recognizing if you're under pressure as a defense, you can always play it back towards them, settle it down, settle the pressure, and then give yourself some open space and time to be able to get that return pass from your keeper. As here comes Gaynor on the far side. That's Brianna Gaynor. She's going to hustle through on the right side. There's a centering pass and goes in behind Skoberg, however, and it'll be cleared away, and Ottawa's going to try and see if they can launch a counterattack the other way now, as Minar's going to send this one in through by running over is Ramdeen picking up on that idea and she'll shift over to clear that one aside for throwing. Time for Caruso. She can carry this one up into a little bit of space. She'll pass off towards the Tierro. Finds Chaku. Chaku does well to continue holding onto that ball and she'll pass it back towards her defense. Depuy and back towards the middle. As this Ottawa two central midfielders in Hanish and Ditero try to work it forward, but good heads up play from Skolberg. She's gonna try and do it herself and she'll take a shot from distance trying to see if she could catch Tom out of her goal. And she'll be able to run back into her goal and make the save, but good offensive output there from Skoberg to be able to poke that ball free and get an opportunity onto goal. Another blocked pass, this time from Caldwell, but they are able to get it through the second time up the field. And there's Chaku trying to go by, but Ramdeen blocks it the first time, and here comes a second chance there, and here comes Chaku. She's bursting free, and she finds the goal! And that's all it takes for Annabelle Chaku. Just needs that one opportunity to break through past the defense. Ramdeen blocked it the first time, couldn't get her on the second, and Chaku. And nothing to stop her as she's able to put that one into the corner. And Ottawa South United at the 15th minute will take an one to nothing lead here in the girls under 14 OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield match. And that's when you know you have such a potent striker. When you have that opportunity to just look at a player and say, okay, you got to cover, got to cover. And it looks like Ramdeen's job is to make sure wherever she goes on the field, follow her. She went up for the first clearance, didn't get it out as Minar was able to play that second opportunity on the through ball. And with no Ramdeen there, Chukwu was sent in free onto goal. And she made no mistake when being presented with the chance onto goal. Markham, though, has shown a lot of life here, so don't count them out yet. But here comes Chaku looking to see if she can pick up a second. She's got Isabel to her right, but she's going to try herself. And her shot will get a block there as they'll hit off the leg of Clark right towards the goalkeeper, Mitra.
Nice heading battle going on between the two teams. And I'll finally be sent in by Chaku, and she's going to send in Isabel. And Isabel's through onto goal. One on one into the bottom corner. No mistake. And Isabel Chaku gets one from Annabelle. And it's quickly two to nothing now. Ottawa South Bowl scored by number 17, Isabel Chaku. And Annabelle did a great job there, just got the ball. After that, heading back and forth, recognized Isabel who snuck in, made that run from the left back in behind the two center backs, and she found herself free onto goal and just placed into the bottom corner. Very calm and composed finish for Isabel Chuckle. That's her fifth goal of the season. And a span of just under two minutes, they are able to pick up two quick goals. Does this Ottawa South United team as they look to take control here in this first quarter. Thrawn will go over the head of our teammate. And it will get picked up here by Hanish, who will place one back towards Azard, who's able to get to that one to send it towards Minar. Minar, and I like this from Minar. She's constantly looking to try to play the through balls in the gaps on the defense. Didn't succeed on that one, but you could see the vision there, as this time Hanish is able to get it through. And Ramdeen's clearance hits right off of Chaku out for a goal kick. But I'm liking what those central midfielders are doing, just finding the holes and playing it through and allowing the Chakus to go on and chase them and get in behind that Markham defense. Ball's going to hit off of Clark Glass and Otto will get themselves to throw in. Gets the ball switched over towards Caruso, and she's going to play this one down the line towards Chaku. And she's going to win that ball into the corner, and she's going to come out with it. She plays across and towards Annabelle, and then she isn't able to get much of a header onto that one. And Mitra is able to make the catch. Uh, the Chaku is going again with working with one another up the field. Nice line chance from Minar, able to beat that one towards Clark, but that ball will go all the way back towards the Markham keeper. And she's going to take her time here, get her players to calm down the pace of the game. I like that from the keeper. When you see a lot of pressure and the momentum going the other way, just slow it down, get the pace back, and then rebuild towards the game that Markham had in those opening few minutes. Because they had a lot of that pressure early. They just got to figure out a way to get that the game shifted back towards their favor. But McLaughlin doesn't want that to happen. And she sends another through ball in for Annabelle Chaku. And good job there from Mitra. Sliding down and covering all the angles to make sure that one couldn't sneak through. Caruso can't get a second chance. And now here comes Balfon the other way. Balfon is going to look to switch towards the right side. Great ball from her. And then... It's going to send in Gaynor on to run. Brianna Gaynor is going to try a shot, and I think that took a deflection. No, it did not. It was a direct shot, and her shot will go wide from Brianna Gaynor and out for a goal kick. Winning this one in the, towards the midfield is Phillips. Geronio. Geronio, she's going to have a good chance, but Caruso is able to recover, and she's trying to clear it away in the first chance, and she will be able to find her midfield on the second opportunity. McLaughlin, as they look to work the ball up the field, but Gaynor is able to kick that one aside as we reach the 20th minute mark here. As probably enough opportunity for one more chance for either team. As it go, get the ball get whistled down by referee Baldino, and going in towards the first quarter intermission, it is Ottawa South United 2, Markham Soccer Club nil in this. Girls under 14, OPDL, Gary Miller, Charity Shield. Toronto FC, an official premier partner of Ontario Soccer, as well as the presenting partner for the Ontario Player Development League, the province's youth high-performance league.
Gatorade. With electrolytes to help replenish with lost and sweat. Carbs to help fuel your working muscles. And fluids to help you hydrate. Scientifically formulated so you never stop competing. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Gatorade. It begins with a ball. Two teams, two nets, that ball, and a love of everything between the lines. But the game is more. The game is you giving every last breath to finish the sprint. The game is that last ounce of strength that pours out of you as you stretch to save your team. The game is questioning yourself over and over again until you find a way forward. Your personal best today is your challenge for tomorrow. Giving everything now is only knowing how much further you can go. The laces we tighten are the ones that bind us together. Entering the huddle as a player and leaving as a team. Play because you love it. Inspire because it's in you. Unite because it's in us. Ontario Soccer. Welcome back to the Ontario Soccer Center for second quarter action in the girls under 14 OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield. The Chakus each got a goal apiece in that first quarter as the two teams get ready to take the field. And Markham will be starting off with the opening kickoff. Ontario Soccer values fair play and we share this common passion with our partners from Respect and Support, the leading e-learning platform for the prevention of bullying, abuse, harassment and discrimination. Learn more about their programs and start your Respect education journey today at respectinc.com. As we are underway here with the second 20 minutes. And it was just two goals in two minutes for Ottawa South United. It was Markham who had the early chances. Then Ottawa seemed to just turn it up to another level. And they made full use of the chances they got to give them that 2-0 lead. And they look to try and see if they can continue that here. Or if Markham can try to pull one back before the halftime break. Okay. 
to Tierro. Gotta leave this one to go all the way back towards Ozard. And she's gonna look to play towards the far side of the field. Couple new faces on the field here for Ottawa South United. See in the second quarter, we'll let you know who they are in just a few months. Seeing here, that's Francesca Moretta. She's here on the right wing. Has some good pressure coming in from Skolberg, forcing this ball to go all the way back towards goalkeeper Tom. And gotta give credit to those three attackers on the top for Markham. Lots of potential up there. Just haven't been able to get the service yet to be able to get Markham to create those chances. But they can find a way to get the midfield involved to get those balls played towards the forwards. They will be looking to see if they can challenge that Ottawa goal. Good also there to keep that one in play. They're looking to try to work this ball up through the midfield as Ottawa, and they will be able to poke this one free as the Tierra will be able to have the ball, and she'll play towards this near side. Caruso sends this one in towards Moretta. Moretta coming in from McLaughlin. She's able to get away from the defender. She's able to send it in towards Shaku, and she couldn't get the touch to get that one on to go, but good early introduction there for Moretta making her presence known. Eight goals in the OPDL season. And that's a hard block coming in there from Chaco, able to block that one. Well, it's going to go well for a throw in here for Markham as they look to place one down the line. And they will be able to move the ball up as they try to send that one in for Skoberg to chase. And it gets poked away there by O'Grady. Moretta down the line. Can't find Annabelle Chukwu. There's Ramdeen. Like we said, wherever uh, Annabelle Chukwu is going, Ramdeen will be staying with her. Geranio. Good shielding there from Phillips. But O'Grady is trying to hold her ground, and she gets knocked off the ball. And it's going to be a free kick in favor of Ottawa South United. Comes a shot coming from distance. That one gets blocked from Minar. And she tries to get a second effort, and she will win that ball to get it back towards an Ottawa possession. Good hustle coming in from Minar there. Geronio, she gets taken down. And she's trying to lead onto a counterattack, and you could almost call that a smart foul there for Ottawa. Trying to prevent a quick counterattack from Markham. Markham's just had themselves a very busy weekend here, though. They've been presented in four of the six OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield matches here at the Ontario Soccer Center. Picking up at least a couple victories so far. As the ball get picked up here, new introduce is Angus. Angus is going to play that one down the line, and Chaku tries to keep that one in play, and she forces Clark to clear that one aside, and it'll be a throw in for Ottawa. Tierro switches it towards the near side of the field for Caruso. Caruso, though, gets it taken away from here from Belfond, and she's going to try to hustle down the line. Good job from Belfond. She's going to keep that one in play, and she'll send this one in for Skolberg. Uh, there is O'Grady, and she'll be able to get this one, and she's going to try to send this ball up quickly the other way, and she finds the ball towards Chukwu. Chukwu trying to switch it over, but it gets deflected by Clark, and Angus is going to try to battle it away from Parker, and she's going to leave it for Ramdeen to hit up the field. There's a hard collision between Caruso and Balfon. And Balfon feeling the effects of that collision. 
And it's going to be a free kick, and the Markham team is all going to surround their injured player here as the referee is going to have a word with Caruso for that collision. All right, just a final warning here as we get ready to restart play here with the free kick. I'm going to switch it over towards the far side of the field. But Clark isn't able to get around the first player, but she does want her team a throw in. Uh, she's going to have that deep, long throw, and she's going to instantly try to play that one down the line. And she'll get a second opportunity to throw this one in. Got to look for some support, though. Just a single player currently right now helping out that fullback, trying to throw this one in. And Ottawa just being able to put two players on that one player up there in Gainer is able to clear that one aside again. A little bit of a missed kick there, but it works out into Ottawa's favor as they're looking to kick that one up the field. But by missing it there, they're able to clear that one up the field and up for a goal kick. Quickly thrown in towards Angus. Good job there, though, from Parker. Able to get to that one first. But that ball will find its way towards the midfield. And Drania does well to hustle to get back in a position to shut down the attack originally. But it'll still continue on this near side here for Moretta. Moretta into the corner, battling in towards the corner with Gaynor. And not too sure who hit off of last. And he'll hit off of Moretta last. Good job there from Gaynor. And she wins her team a goal kick. Playing it short is Markham trying to work the ball out of their own end. And like I said, all that's missing right now for the Markham team just need the midfield to get a little bit more involved into the game here to see if they can get some movement into some open spaces. And once they are able to, I can definitely see Markham getting some chances onto that goal. Good hustle coming in from Dettiero. She's pulling her way through a couple of players and she will win her team a throw and she'll take this one in quickly to the foot of Angus who returns it towards the Dettiero. Anish. All the way back towards O'Grady. Got some pressure on her, does O'Grady, and she's just trying to chip it forward towards Chukwu. And Chukwu gets knocked down from behind by Ramdeen and she's going to win her team a free kick. Critical free kick there as well because if Chaco wasn't able to continue it, Markham had O'Grady out of position and could have led a huge counterattack on the only remaining player back there in Ozard. The Tierro on the kick as that one's going to deflect. There's a player who goes down in the penalty area. Ottawa wants a penalty but still continues on as hustling to that one is De Tierra and she'll kick it off of Gaynor and win her team a throw in. Didn't look like much there to give a penalty call there. It looked like Chuck went down a little bit easily from this viewpoint, but play will still resume here with Markham trying to lead an attack the other way. As we're getting close towards the half an hour mark with Ottawa South United leading over Markham here in the second quarter. Oh, Grady hits this one towards the midfield for Caldwell to try to settle, but she's not able to. And some good passing gives some space for Ottawa to go the other way. And there's a push down from behind there from Caldwell. And it shuts down that counterattack opportunity from Minar. And Moretta was wide open here on that right wing. If Minar was able to play that one towards her, would have definitely sent Ottawa free onto goal. There's Moretta. 
And towards Detiero, they attempt to play a little one-two. Uh, Ram Dean is in the way. And the second ball will be almost picked up there by Ottawa. But Belfon will be able to get it up. But Hanish will get called for a foul against her. And it will be trying to be taken quickly here for Phillips. And she'll leave it for Ram Dean to instead take up and hit up towards that right side of the field. Brianna Gaynor. Leaves it for Clark, returns it for Gaynor, and they look to play a little one-two. Nice return pass from Gaynor. It's going to send Clark onto a run into the corner. She's going to play a cross in, and that one's going to roll right towards Tom and goal, and it'll actually go over the goal line enough for a goal kick, so she's going to have to put the ball down. Angus. Down towards the left side, and it's going to be played in forward towards Chuckle. She's on side. And she's going to get this one in towards the corner. Trying to put some space to get in towards the penalty area. Good job there from Parker. Forces her back. Some pressure on towards Gaynor, and Skoberg just missed that one. And Ozard is able to hit that one up the field. Again, the pressure coming in from those Markham players on the Ottawa South United defense is proving to be effective so far. They, if they are able to succeed on poking a ball free, they definitely have a great chance to get onto the goal there. But they just have to make sure they can continue that high press pressure as we see some bodies flying around midfield. And it will go in favor of Markham winning a free kick on the second collision. Much to the dismay there of the Ottawa South United fans and family here in attendance. Parker didn't get much onto that pass and it's going to be a three on two break for Ottawa. But Chukwu is going to be offside and it's going to be brought back for a free kick. Canis Soccer has launched its Return to Play program in collaboration with its member associations. The Play Campaign is a Canada-wide initiative which serves as a call to action for a safe and responsible return to play for all those involved in the sport of soccer from coast to coast to coast. To learn more, visit canisoccer.com slash play. Markham trying to look for a call there as Belfon felt like she got pushed in behind there from Lofthouse. This play still continues as Lofthouse has shifted over from the left fullback position. She'll go over to the right side now as we had some substitutions during that offside. As the ball remains in play, everyone kind of froze thinking that ball went out and Chaku was able to continue that run and she'll win her team a free kick. Oh, Grady, her pass gets intercepted. Geronio can't get it in towards Goldberg, though. And Ozard hits that one right back up. And like we've been saying, those players up top have been able to find some turnovers from that Ottawa defense. And that is something to keep an eye out for to be able to get themselves those goals to get back into this one. Tierro. Good job from her to hold her ground. Uh, she's going to send a ball through, and Parker just was able to reach that second opportunity blocked by Clark. And there's a third chance Parker once again gets in the way, but they are not able to clear. Angus. Hannah, she tries it from range, but that's going to be a, a catch there from Mitra. And Mitra has sent this one downfield towards Skoberg as Lofthouse is able to control this one. Ramdeen under a little bit of pressure here, trying to figure it out with her keeper, and she did well. She hit it off of Chaku and wins her team a goal kick. A little bit of communication there. Just have to figure it out. It looks like Ramdeen was a little confused if her goalkeeper was going to come out and collect that ball or if she was forced to clear that one aside.
Clark hits this one in towards the midfield. It's going to get picked up by the Ottawa midfield. And they're going to return it here with O'Grady. Tranio does well to come back and wins that one. And Caldwell is going to send this one down the line too far, though, for Belfond to be able to reach. And Ottawa gets themselves another throw in as it looks like Markham is getting some players ready to possibly make some substitutions soon. As Lofthouse is going to throw this one down the line, she gets towards the foot of Chakwu, and she's going to send a nice ball in the air, and she'll have Angus trying to find that one, but she can have that ball settle for her as the first clearance is going to get blocked by Angus, and the second one blocked by Moretta, and finally a third clearance will get hit up the field by Ramdeen, and she'll be able to try to get the ball out of her own half, but she's not able to as Chakwu plays a little one-two there. As Dutiero is going to leave it for, for Menard. Leaves it for Chukwu, and she buries it into the far corner. Great ball there from Menard. Once again, Brooklyn Menard with a brilliant ball. Annabelle Chukwu just had to wait for that ball to settle, and she places that one into the far corner, and that will extend Ottawa South United's lead 3 to nothing. Play will get resumed here from the kickoff, and Skoberg will be able to pick up on that one as she'll be battling for it in towards the midfield. But it'll be a loft house here for Ottawa, who's going to carry the ball up. That third goal really got set up by a couple quick, nice passes, and Menard once again just finding the perfect through ball. And we've been talking about that with her in that first quarter. Seeing some great vision out of her, and she succeeds there once again to find Chaku. And all she had to do was place that one in, and she succeeded. Giorgio able to intercept once again. But she's. As uh, Deter has her hands up there, saying, well, with no call there, referee. But play still resumes here with the ball going down the line for Chaku to chase. Chaku plays a little one-two with Moretta, but Gaynor will get in the way by Ramdeen and Gaynor get caught up with one another, and Moretta will try a shot, and that one's going to squeak in as Mitra can't keep it out. And with Ramdeen and Gaynor just losing the ball in the feet, Francesca Moretta puts that one into the corner. And Mitra tried hard, but just couldn't get enough of a hand onto that one to deflect that one aside. And we have an injured player behind the scene as Ramdeen is huddled over looking for some assistance. Well, it looks like she's going to toughen this one out. And Markham, with a couple minutes left, looking to try to see. They, they know all they need is one here, and they're right back in it. Here comes the ball off the kickoff, which Ramdeen will put right into the Ottawa end, and Lofthouse is just going to let this one roll out for the throw-in. As we get in towards the final minute here of this second quarter, Ottawa trying to see if they can add one more to the tally, as Ramdeen doesn't look like she's harboring any effects from the earlier collision. Looks like she's going to toughen this one out. Kicks that one aside for a throw-in. Tierra, nice spin move, gets across in, and Parker, though, is able to block that one as that ball is going to fall towards the midfield, and Phillips is going to try to go the other way, and she'll touch it over towards Gaynor, who is going to hit this one all the way up the line towards the corner. Good battle as that ball continues to stay along that touch line, and Azard can get some help now from her defense to hit this one up the line. And there goes the halftime whistle. 
to end the first half between the Ottawa South United who lead 4 to nothing over Markham Soccer Club in this girls under 14 OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield. Today's OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield action is fueled by Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish, and refuel during halftime. And the OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield is all about competing well on the pitch while doing good in the community. Support the team's fundraising efforts and get your shot at winning the jackpot this weekend by buying a ticket for our special Gary Miller Charity Shield 50-50 raffle at www.rafflebox.ca slash raffle slash Ontario Soccer. Ticket sales close at 11.59 p.m. tonight and the draw is tomorrow on Monday, November the 8th. The winner will be notified shortly thereafter. Thank you for some support. We're going to go towards a halftime break, folks. Don't go anywhere. Second half action coming up next. Gatorade, with electrolytes to help replenish with lost in sweat, carbs to help fuel your working muscles, and fluids to help you hydrate. Scientifically formulated so you never stop competing. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Gatorade. It begins with a ball. Two teams, two nets, that ball, and a love of everything between the lines. But the game is more. The game is you giving every last breath to finish the sprint. The game is that last ounce of strength that pours out of you as you stretch to save your team. The game is questioning yourself over and over again until you find a way forward. Your personal best today is your challenge for tomorrow. Giving everything now is only knowing how much further you can go. The laces we tighten are the ones that bind us together. Entering the huddle as a player and leaving as a team. Play because you love it. Inspire because it's in you. Unite because it's in us. Ontario Soccer.
And welcome back to the Ontario Soccer Center here in Vaughan, Ontario for the second half action in the girls under 14 OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield Final as Ottawa South United lead over Markham. Martin and Ohms here on the commentary here as the teams have switched sides. So Ottawa South United in the white and blue going from your right to your left on your screens at home for the second half. And Markham in the all black going from your left to your right. See a change in goal here for Markham. Olivia Busby is now in the game as the keeper for the Markham squad. As Ottawa looks to get the kickoff here early, but a little bit of a jump start there. So the kickoff will have to be retaken. And this time we are underway with the second half. Ramdeen once again getting in the way of that first long ball. Ramdeen's done a great job, great presence from her on that back line. He's had a tough job here dealing with those top players here as that ball looked to have bounced and hit the arm, but play still continues here. With Markham working with the ball of Geranio. Looking to try to play it off towards the left side and it's gonna be too far in for Scobert to chase. And Tom will be able to just pick up the loose ball. Goals from two from Annabelle Chaku, one from Isabel Chaku, and Francesca Moretta has the fourth goal here for Ottawa South United, which gives them the advantage. As we'll try to see if Markham can get one here early, if they can find a goal in these opening five, ten minutes here, I think they got themselves a chance to get themselves in, into it as Ramdeen and Parker combine their efforts together to shut down that attack. McLaughlin. McLaughlin again plays it towards the right side. Has some support and towards her midfield and they work together well as they try to bounce around as Hanish and it's finally poked away from her. Long ball up here. Can try to be controlled here by Brianna Gaynor and she does well to be able to get to it and she's going to try and play a first time pass up the field and Tom will come out of her goal well to be able to hit that one up the field before the oncoming Skolberg can get to that. Play still continues here as the pass will get the, off the back heel of Chaku. But McLaughlin tries to see if they can work a little one-two to continue this attack. And she will drive towards the edge of that penalty area. And that one looks like it took off a deflection off the foot of Platts. And it will go out for a corner kick. Thank you to Ontario soccer partner Soccer Express for their first class support. As Canada's premier soccer apparel and equipment dealer, Soccer Express is everything needed to take your game to the next level. Visit SoccerX.com to f check out the latest gear from Adidas, Nike, Puma, Admiral, and more. That's Soccer Express. And some good job there from the Markham midfield. Able to win that ball as they try to send that one all the way up the field towards Gainer. And they'll look to try to get a second opportunity here by keeping this ball in down the line. Clark gets that one slid into by Dupuy. And Markham's going to send this one long. And Brianna Gaynor's going to chase it. And taking no chances there is O'Grady able to hit this one back in towards the midfield. It's going to bounce off an Ottawa player last. Clark with that long throw once again. Going to put that one down the line and once again taking no chances there. There is the defensive line with O'Grady there. Just clear that one instead. With Ozard and some pushing and shoving going on here as they try to set up for this throw. Clark now will throw this one in. Towards Gainer, trying to control that one, and she can't. Not she's not able to. There's it rolls just off her foot, and it goes out for a goal kick. 
Reminder, these two teams are playing for specific charity foundations as the Ottawa South United is playing for the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario as Markham is playing for the Sick Kids Foundation. I thank everybody who's supported and make sure to get your 50-50 tickets online as well. Good battle in the midfield, and Geronio trying to do whatever she can to win that ball for her team. But Ottawa will be able to come out with this one as it goes towards the near side for Ugarte, who's entered the game. Castronovo can't get any further, and this one's going to get all the way up the field for Ozar to hustle back to retrieve. Ugarte. She has some space. She's going to play this one in towards Chukwu. And they try to pass it on to the other Chukwu, but Parker read that one, and she's going to send a nice long ball up the field, but just a touch too heavy. And it's going to go right towards Tom and Goal by getting close for Skoberg to try to get onto those runs. Isabel Chukwu is going to play this one down towards the left side, and Castronovo, who's entered the game, is going to try to play that one in towards the... Annabel Chukwu, Anish, trying to halt her run. Uh, Phillips goes right through it, and she's able to poke it away from her, but Ottawa continues with the passing. Shot there will take a couple deflection. Busby will almost spilled that one, but she's able to recover, and she picks that one up. Uh, the shot looks like it took a slight deflection there. Uh, just got a little bit tricky on the backspin to be able to control as play will resume here with a drop ball. And play will continue here in the air. Anish able to try to bring this one down, but it gets taken away. As they try to play that one down the line, can't continue it, but they do get themselves to throw in. It looks like we also have a change here. The fourth official I've noticed is one of the assistant referees. Not too sure which assistant referee is out of the match, but the fourth official has now shifted over towards an assistant referee position as one of the referees is down getting medical attention. Draneo trying to win that one. Hanish gets to it, and she's going to send a long ball up. Good touch, and she's going to send Isabel Chukwu to get to that one, but Busby does well. She's able to get to that ball first, and she tries to clear it away, but she hits it right towards Castronovo. Another shot there from Chukwu, and that one looks like it took a deflection as well, and it goes for a corner kick. There's hustle coming out from the defense, and the new goalkeeper must be able to come out to shut down that good through bow played in for the Chukwus, as they have two players coming in for the short. And they have an opportunity to play that one in quickly, but they're going to ask for the space instead. This one's going to go towards the near post. Good job there from Busby coming out of her goal, and she's able to make the catch. McLaughlin trying to find that ball on her feet. Gets the pass right back towards her. And she's trying to spin herself away, but Dranio is able to get to it. Phillips. Carrying this one up. Her pass, though, can get on to Gainer. Good chance there for Markham. But right, Phillips, once again, going to try and see if she can set one up as Dranio sends it up towards Gainer. She can't get to that one, and Ugarte gets it on as Markham's trying to claim for a sudden jersey pulls, it looks like, but play still continues as Dranio tries once again, and it looks like a little miscommunication on that back line, and Tom and the defender are having some words there on what they should do for the next time that ball comes in.
Throwing down the line, and Ugarte will get in the way and block it, and Markham do get themselves a corner kick. Good opportunity as we get closer towards that 50th minute mark here. As the set pieces could be their avenue to see if they can break through this clean sheet. As Markham's bringing in a couple of late players onto the run, Parker calling for it on the near side. And Ottawa was late to react, but they do were able to cover her, and they'll cross this one in instead. And there's the header! Just couldn't get it onto goal. But that was Markham's chance there. And they're starting to find closer, and that was Ramdeen once again, the center back coming in onto the attack with a strong header onto the goal. And Markham's calling for a high press now. They want to put all the pressure on the Ottawa defense. They don't want to let them get out of their own as Ramdeen gets away with the push onto the back of the Ottawa striker. But play will go over towards that far side of the field as Skoberg tries to win the ball for her team, and she will succeed. And Markham will throw this ball in quickly down into the corner. Platts. Platts as well gets through a couple players, and she's into the corner now looking for some support. And it gets intercepted, and Ottawa's going to try to launch a counterattack the other way as Chaku and Ramdeen both go down onto the turf, and Ramdeen does her job to shut down a quick chance for the Ottawa players. Ugarte can't find Chaku. Gets cleared as, all the way back towards Ozard. Good interception there, and here comes Clark down the line. She's going to send a ball in for Gaynor to chase, and it's going to be Ozard who just beats the Markham striker to that ball, but she'll just clear it aside, and Markham will get a throw in deep into Ottawa territory. And that corner kick seems to have ignited a little bit of a spark here for Markham as they're trying to urge themselves towards that Ottawa goal. Gainer for Clark, there's a cross, headed away. Second opportunity, knocked back in. Maybe they'll get themselves a third chance here with Phillips. And Phillips though gets it kicked away from her, but it'll be another throw in for Markham. And it's just a good asset to have when you have the, someone who has that ability to throw the long throws, such as Clark. And she wasn't able to get much onto that one as this one goes into the crowd, but she'll get a second opportunity on her throw in. Platts looking to switch it towards the far side of the field. They get beaten towards it. Madrano again not giving up on it. And she does well to get through one. She gets through a second player. Great hustle from Madrano. She'll try to cross that one in, but Ozard will head that one aside. But it's another corner kick for Markham. Players are lined up in a bit of a bunch formation in front of the goal as Markham as well as has two players in for the short. Parker as well presenting herself as a short pass option. As now Markham is just going to crowd the goalkeeper and see if they can play that one into a dangerous spot. Ramdeen can't get onto that one and Ottawa tries to go the other way. But there's Platts able to get to it first and Parker is going to poke that one right back in. Of a push there from Chaku as they continue to go at each other, do the ladies. But the referee is just going to let them play as this one goes back into the corner. And Ozard's under some pressure there. And we saw so Ottawa feeling a little bit comfortable playing it with Tom. Just seems like right now they see, okay, they know they like to back pass it. So Skolberg is just trying to block that return pass to the keeper. So they're forcing Ottawa to kick it out for throw ins instead of playing it back and try to slow down the pace utilizing Tom and Nett. So good heads of play from the Markham Strikers. But that throw in will miss its player and it'll go all the way out for a goal kick. Gonna play this one in short. And Cochran does well. She's come into the game as Cochran for Markham. She gets a block on that first one. But Ottawa's still trying to get it out. 
of their own half. Johnny O and McLaughlin take a little bit of a tumble, but McLaughlin is able to recover as this ball goes right back in towards a dangerous area as they're trying to work that ball up, and Caruso is finally able to knock this one up towards Chukwu. Chukwu finds some space. She has an option towards our left, and she finds in Castronovo. Castronovo tries a shot, but there's two Markham players coming sliding in to make sure that one doesn't get onto goal. Oberg and both players are pushing there. So interesting to see which one. It looks like the referee will call the initial shove there. And a free kick will go in favor of Markham. Check that. It's going to go in favor of Ottawa. It's one of those cases where both players shoved each other there. So the referee's just calming the both players down here before this free kick will continue. Here's Ugarte. Gonna bring this one all the way back towards their defense as they'll be switched over by O'Grady towards McLaughlin carrying it up. That pass won't find its player. Now Skogberg has a chance to go the other way, and she'll send a first-time pass, and Gaynor's onto a run there, but a nice sliding challenge from Ozard, and Tom will come out of her goal to get the extra clearance, and that's a desperation heave there for Ozard. Very risky side tackle, but she timed it perfectly to be able to poke it aside as Brianna Gaynor was turning on the Jets to go on to goal. Because especially considering it's one of those last player situations, clear goal scoring opportunity. As we get a little bit of bounce back and forth here. As there's a push there by Skoberg. That's going to get called by the referee. And it's going to go for a free kick just on the edge of that penalty area. Yeah, switch that one right off the boot. Here's Ugarte. Ugarte gonna try and switch it right back. Platz was able to block that one. And Cochran will pass it right back towards Platz. Pass, pass, can't get on towards Skoberg and it's gonna get cleared away towards the right side. Chaku. Getting some help here from Isabel Chaku as they try to work it forward, but it gets cleared away by Gaynor as far as McLaughlin. Isabel Chaku trying to put it around the defense, but great shielding coming out from Ram Dean. Isn't going to allow any further attack here for Ottawa, and it goes for a goal kick. Good pressure. Forces another goal kick. Looks like instead of playing it short, Parker's gonna boot this one now. And yeah, utilize the goalkeeper this time and then look to play it out left. Auckland bringing this one towards the middle field. Leaves for Isabel Chaku. She's going to touch that one over towards the right side. It gets cleared away for another throne. As we get closer towards the end of this third quarter as Ottawa South United lead over Markham. And this girl's under 14 OPDL Gary Miller charity shield match. Play is switched over towards Ugarte. She's looking for that ball to set him. She looks to want to go for a goal there. And that one's going to roll wide. Yeah. 
Playing it short here in a dangerous play, and Chuck was able to get to that one. Avuspi is able to pick that one up and got to be a little bit careful knocking it around in front of their goal, does Markham. And they get away with one there. And Isabel Chaco gets knocked in behind by Ram Dean. She's just going to get a final warning from the referee as well, does Ram Dean. And play will resume with the ball taken in short. One last chance here in this third quarter. Boot up there from Phillips, and Gaynor's now going to get onto it. And Ozard hits it high in the air, and there goes the final whistle to end the third quarter. And this girl is under 14, OPDL, Gary Miller, Charity Shield. Sports Engine is the official technology partner of Ontario Soccer and the lean provider of sport relationship management software for youth and amateur sports. Check out sportsengine.com backslash solutions to see how they can help keep your club running in stride on and off the pitch this season. We're going to go towards one more break, folks. Don't go anywhere. The fourth quarter and the conclusion of this match coming up next. Electrolytes to help replenish with loss in sweat. Carbs to help fuel your working muscles. And fluids to help you hydrate. Scientifically formulated so you never stop competing. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Gatorade. It begins with a ball. Two teams, two nets, that ball, and a love of everything between the lines. But the game is more. The game is you giving every last breath to finish the sprint. The game is that last ounce of strength that pours out of you as you stretch to save your team. The game is questioning yourself over and over again until you find a way forward. Your personal best today is your challenge for tomorrow. Giving everything now is only knowing how much further you can go. The laces we tighten are the ones that bind us together. Entering the huddle as a player and leaving as a team. Play because you love it. Inspire because it's in you. Unite because it's in us. Ontario Soccer.
And welcome back to Ontario Soccer Center for fourth quarter action. And these girls under 14 OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield match. Ottawa South United lead over Markham 4 0 here on for four first half goals. As they look to finish off a strong 20 minutes in display here in the OPDL as Markham will make a last second substitution. Looks like we have a change in goal as well for Ottawa in this fourth quarter. See, it looks like Reese K is now in goal. And she'll replace Kate Tom in this fourth quarter as we are back underway here with Ottawa. Trying to put that one in towards the midfield. Baby picked up here quickly by Phillips. And Markham wants to see if they can get one quick good chance. But Ozard is in the way once again. Both these two teams played in the same OPDL division during the season. With Ottawa South United finishing top of the table. Markham finishing second in their division. With Ottawa just having the single loss of the season towards Ottawa TFC. While Markham's two losses were against Unionville and this Ottawa South United squad. Well, those two teams have been dominant otherwise as Gaynor is going to go on to a run down the right flank. And nicely poked away there by Ozard at the last second. It'll be a throw in deep into the corner and Clark's going to run up to throw it. And like we said, some deep throw-ins from Clark. Sometimes you can even call it almost like a short corner kick when you have someone with that type of ability. Got to play this one in short, and Clark, instead of letting that one run out, will head it right back in. And it's going to be settled in by Tatiero. Tatiero trying to shoot that one down the line, nicely blocked by Clark, and here comes Cochran with it. Cochran gets knocked off the ball by Chuck Wu. Referee giving Detero no more last warning of stepping in front of the ball. And this one's going to allow Parker to boot this one in as good job there from Lofthouse is able to get to that one. And she'll hit it off towards Chaku who leaves it for Angus. Parker will clear that one away before it gets towards Isabel Chaku. There's a little bit of pushing and shoving going on there, but Angus will be the player who comes out with the ball as it gets blocked by Cochran and towards Phillips, who tries to send it up the line towards Gaynor. And Azar just cleared away first time for throwing around midfield forward Markham. Reminder, one more game following this one. We have the U17 girls OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield Final. That'll be at 3 o'clock here in our sixth and final game of the day. So make sure to stay tuned for that one. As Isabel Chukwu almost played a great through ball in for Annabelle. But got blacked on the last chance. And here comes a counterattack the other way. As Gaynor gets between the two defenders. And a brilliant save by Kay. Rebound saved as well by Kay. And that gets a round of applause from both ends as Brianna Gaynor got on to go on a sliding goalkeeper standing in strong was Kay and a second opportunity from Dranio got caught as well. That's one way to make your introduction in the fourth quarter for an Ottawa keeper. As this one's going to go into the right side for Clark to give chase. And she's claiming she won a corner kick and she will. And Markham's trying to use that momentum, see if they can find a, a way to get themselves on the board. One Markham player standing around the goalie and Kay's letting one of her players know, I need a little bit of help here. Some separation. As Markham's gonna be switching players here on their short. And this one get played in. Phillips will get the first header onto that one. But it's going to pop out the other side. And Caruso will be able to hit this one up the field. Lofthouse. It's going to get this ball toward, back towards this near side. And Angus is going to give chase. And Clark will be able to block that one as that ball is going to continue to bounce around. And Ozard hits it right back towards Clark who puts it in towards the middle of the field. Cochran. Kicks it to right towards McLaughlin. There's Minaj, who she's re-entered the game, but getting in the way there is Kayla Gaynor. 
And here comes Kayla Gaynor now trying to break free on the left side. And both her and Loftus are claiming for it, and Markham will get the throw in, and they'll throw it in quickly. Skoberg. Gets it taken away by Detier, and she'll pass it towards this near side for Angus. Shoots it down for Isabel Chakwu and Park. Does well there, gets around a couple pairs. She passes off towards Phillips, and Phillips saw Gainer make a run down the right side. Had her. Azar just gets the foot away, but the Markham faithful getting loud here, cheering their team on here in this fourth quarter. So you just get a confirmation here. Uh, assistant referee Larry Yassine picked up an injury, it looks like, during the game. So fourth official, Julia Friesen, has now stepped in as assistant referee here to finish off the rest of the game. As we have a through ball coming for Ottawa, and Annabelle Chuck will be called for an offside. And that is Friesen there making the call on that offside. As this one's going to get played in long, Ozzar trying to control that one. Just couldn't find that one to settle on her foot and it'll fall out here for a throw-in. And Clark has had a busy second half all game long with the throw-ins. As Gaynor returns it back towards Clark, she sends it towards Cochran. Phillips, good passing here. As it gets shipped forward by Caldwell. Can't get through the first time, but Phillips gets a second chance here. But it gets stripped away from her by McLaughlin. But it's Darren Ottawa team is not able to clear it away. A Skoberg tried to play it out left. And it's going to continue to bounce around. And Geronio tries a low drive. Doesn't get much onto that one. And will roll to right towards the waiting hands of Kay and Nett. Skoberg is onside, and Geronio skips by one defender, almost gets through the second one. Azard, though, once again, getting in the way, and she'll shoot this one down the line. It's going to continue to roll its way out for our throw, and Markham saw some strong play here in this fourth quarter, and I like that never-give-up attitude. And they're giving it all out here in this OPDL, Gary Miller, Charity Shield. Lofthouse taking her time here, looking for someone to pass it on to. Finally finds the Tierro, and she'll send it back towards Azard, who will return it towards Lofthouse. <laughs> Trying to pass it inside, can't find Chaku, but the Tierro has time to reset it with her defense. Ugarte, Tierro, inside for McLaughlin. Trying to play a little one-two, but there's Ramdeen, and she'll boot it out of the play and shut down that attack. Good forecheck coming in from Gaynor, putting some pressure on these defenders, but they are able to get away from that pressure. This is Tierro will play this one out wide towards Lofthouse. And it looks like one of the players, looks like Phillips picked up an injury. She's trying to walk it off as Phillips. And it looks like she fell down after, chasing after the ball there. As the Ottawa defense continues to knock the ball around in the back line. Comes Isabel Chakwu. Back from McLaughlin. Plays it across to Angus, who leaves it back for Tierra. She's going to tee this one up. All right, she doesn't find the goal there. Just going wide to Busby's net. This looks like Markham's getting ready to make a substitution here before this goal kick. It's going to be Skoberg, their striker, coming off. Skoberg had 10 goals in the OPDL season. Couldn't find the back of the net today, but put in a good shift out there on the field. 
As one's getting the Ottawa pressure, not letting Markham take these short plays off the goal kicks. Forces them to take yet another one. It's like Kennedy Belfon has re-entered the game for Markham. I see one by Menard in the air. And here comes Isabel Chaku trying to go shoulder to shoulder with Gaynor. And that's a good battle going on between the two players. As Ottawa will come out with it. And we got an injured player behind the play. Menar is still going, still down the turf. As play still will continue. And O'Grady just going to kick that one out of play as Menar gets back to her feet. And she's going to take her time to walk herself back into place. The referee's just going to make sure she is okay. Today's OPDL Charity Shield action is fueled by Gatorade, the official sports fuel of the OPDL. Rehydrate, replenish, and refuel after the match. Referee's going to restart and play here with a drop ball. There's Ugarte up the line for Annabelle Chaku. Getting some help here from Angus, and Cochran is now going to hit this one up for Gaynor. Gaynor gets it poked away from her by Ugarte. And there's just under nine minutes left to go here in this one. Markham's giving it out whatever they have left out here on the pitch. That ball is eluding the defense slightly, and Ozard will get to that one, and she'll boot this one up the field. And Markham will get themselves another throw in here. As they look to try to utilize that midfield, it looks like Phillips is walking okay again now, so maybe just a little bit of a twist there in the earlier challenge. As Jarnio, nice little footwork from her, gets her way through a couple of players, but Lofthouse is able to recover, and Jarnio trying to win it back, and Lofthouse still able to hit this one up the line. Chaku with Gaynor all over her back. And it's going to count as a free kick there. As Chaku wasn't able to turn around. And out will re reset the play here with playing the ball short. Glocklin in for Angus. Angus gets taken away from her by Cochran. And here comes Cochran. Setting it up towards Gaynor. Gaynor got through the defender. Lost it though as she spun around the wrong direction. And it's going to go out for an Ottawa throw in. Hazard switches it over. Lofthouse. Down the line. There's a push there. And that's going to be an easy call for the referee. So Garte looks just played in. Really like how Ottawa is just constantly switching the play side end to end. Utilizing both sides of the field equally here. And if they don't see something, they're not afraid to switch it over to the other side. It's really just stretching the field and giving their midfielders much more space to play into in that central midfield. And that's really been the difference. Good example right there, Dettier having space to turn around, played to, off towards Angus. And there's Chaku. She has Ugarte towards her left, but she's going to continue to put some footwork in. But finally, Ugarte will have to pick up this ball and she'll return it towards her defense. Okay. Playing in for Ugarte. Try to back heel that one up towards Angus. Couldn't, couldn't connect on that. Goes out for the throw, and as they get a second opportunity, as Clark can, like we mentioned, she, we saw that long throw coming out with from her from earlier in the game, but probably just a little fatigue, just saying, okay, you know what, I'll just do the short throws. Takes a lot out of you each time you throw that long one, and with the amount of time she's had to throw it in, she probably doesn't have the same pull as she once did, but she'll get another one here with her third right here into the corner.
As they'll play a little one-two, and Clark will be able to cross this one in. Dronio will be able to control that one. She tries to get a shot, but she just scooped her foot under that one, and it's going to roll its way out for a goal kick. Soon, another deserving team will engrave their name into OPDL history and hoist the beautiful Gary Miller Charity Shield Trophy, tastefully updated by Nothers the Award Store. For more than 50 years, Nothers the Award Store has been a leading supplier of awards and recognition products across Ontario, offering complete assistance from prog program concept planning all the way to product delivery. See how they can help your organization at Nothers.com. As there will be one more substitution upcoming here for Markham. As Gaynor has coming off the field and entering the game will be Katie O. Young. Cochran returns it towards Ramdeen. Ramdeen has switched it towards this near side for Garcia to control, and she'll hit towards Phillips, and she's got Clark running up, and Clark's going to bring this one into the corner. Clark hits it off of the oncoming Ozard and wins her team a corner kick. Been impressed there with Clark on that right flank. He's had a lot of runs down the line, not afraid to make an offensive push. As two players will be showing up here for Markham. And they are going to move themselves away. So they've been surrounding that goal area on previous corner kicks. This time moving themselves a little bit further. And that's going to be headed away there by Caruso. But there's Parker. Parker trying to go with it. Gets poked away. Second opportunity gets blocked. Still trying to force her right there. Belfon can't get it. Leaves it for Geronio. And K will make the save. Geronio getting a nice left-footed... Stry onto that one. It was right towards the waiting K in goal. So Ottawa tries to send a through ball the other way. And again, Menard just constantly looking for those through ball opportunities. Dranio hustling back to help win her team the ball in midfield, but nice turn there from Isabel to find Annabelle, and she heads that one over the goal. And the Chukwus almost connecting with each other once again for another goal. It was a great move from Isabel, able to get that cross in. And Annabelle just couldn't connect onto the header as a few more substitutions coming out here for Ottawa, South United in these last few minutes. Going to the game will be Hennish as well as Dupuy. So it looks like they're putting on a couple of their starters back on the field to finish out the last couple minutes here at Does Ottawa. Hannah will be able to pick up that ball in the midfield. Her and will leave this one for Angus. Angus can't get through it, and Clark will hit this one up the field, and here's the first chance here for Al Young. Al Young trying to put all the pressure on this midfield. A good hustle coming in from Hanish, but she does get dispossessed by Phillips, and Phillips trying to pass it on towards Balfone. Can't find a pass in through. Annabelle Chuckle with Parker all over the back. Parker trying to reach in. And the referee's going to let the play continue here with O'Grady. Hanish, she's going to see the run coming out wide from Menard. And you can just see it, Menard, with the way she's running right now. Looks like the injury she picked up earlier might be an ankle. Doesn't seem to be running as fluidly as she would as she. Markham will get themselves to the ball over there on the far side. So that earlier injury might be playing into her effects a little bit here as Markham will kick this one in. Final moments here in this one as Ottawa will make the one last change.
Check that. They're going to probably wait for their next opportunity to make one more sub here. Azard down towards the near side for Dupuy. Dupuy, her through ball can't find his way. As Clark will get to it and she'll chip it right back. And Azard will return this one all the way towards their goalkeeper, Kay, who's come into this game. Good vision. As Hannah, she tries to turn around, but Phillips is in the way. As we're in the final moments here in this one, uh, hustling to help out her team is a Tierro, and she'll be able to get this one back out to Dupuy to knock up the field. Probably about one minute of added time here due to the injury towards Minar. As they go back and forth with the kicks. And nice hustle there from Dranio. Able to kick it away from Hanish as this one's going to get all the way towards Kay. Who will probably just let this one roll all the way out. And they'll probably be here the one of the final moments here in this one. Cochran shields that one down, and Angus is going to battle with Clark, and Cochran once again is going to hit this one up the field. Al Young can't get it off towards Phillips, and there's a hard challenge from behind there from Phillips onto Dettier, and Phillips gives her a hand a nice sportsmanship there, making sure she's okay. Here's O'Grady trying to switch that one. Geronio able to intercept. She's going to try to attack. Off to house though, holding her ground, does well, and she'll run it right back, and she's going to go and join in onto the attack now for Ottawa the other way. Menard down the line, can't get through on the first attempt or the second as Gaynor shuts the door. Gaynor once again wins it. She hands it off towards Belfon, and here comes Markham, one more chance the other way. Can't clear it away here. Al Young has a chance here. Fans on this one. Second chance. Cochran can't connect. And a third one from distance. Geronio is going to loft this one high in the air. And there goes the final whistle. And the winners of the girls under 14 OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield is Ottawa South United with a 4-0 victory over Markham. Thank you again to our proud partners for today's event, our premier partners, Toronto FC, and our program partners, Gatorade, as well as Respect and Sport, Soccer X, Sports Engine, Nada the Awards Store, and of course our sport partners in Canadian soccer. Canada Soccer, sorry. This is Martin Ohms here on the commentary. Congratulations go out to both teams. Markham for an excellent season, making it all the way here. And, of course, to Ottawa South United for an exceptional season and with the win here. Don't go anywhere, folks. We have one more game still left here on the OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield action at 3 p.m. with the Girls Under 17 Shield match. But until next time, folks, we'll see you guys later.